arms, stretch your teeth like I nailed it. Rap moving slow like a creep. Shirt in the breeze like I'm sad. Okay, new video. Today, um, I kind of don't want to do, do like a two-part video. I'm, I'm kind of milking the voice meter at this point, I feel like. I, I get a lot of questions and, and two of my most popular videos are voice meters. So I think I could stand to make a third follow-up video on it. So I think at the top of the video, I'll address like two of the most common frequently asked questions or complaints or troubleshoot. At the end of the video, we'll do a uh, how to EQ. Um, so I'll probably pull out my blue Yeti and do like a live EQ so you can see how I'm going to EQ my Yeti to make it sound as, as good as possible. So, and I guess we could just jump right into it. Um, I don't see why not here. I'll pull up, um, voice meter. So, so some of the, the questions I've been getting here, I'll switch this. Okay. So some of the questions I've been getting, um, the most common one by far is like, Hey, people are hearing my desktop audio through my mic. Okay. So I just want to reiterate real quick, like my intention for doing all of this is not so you can just copy me and do like all the exact same settings. Like I want you to actually know what you're doing and why you're doing it and like actually understand this software. And like a question, a question like that kind of makes me feel like some people didn't actually watch the video. So if people are hearing your desktop audio through your mic, that's because you set up voice meter to do that. So these buttons here, like how I have B1 and B2 highlighted under my NT1, that is where I'm sending my audio to. I'm sending my audio to B1 and B2, and you can see the bars are lighting up. They're picking up audio. So one of the ways you could test this is like, listen, like just play music and don't talk through your mic and see where the audio is picking up from. If the audio is picking up right here, without you talking into your mic, but there is music playing, like here. Okay, so we're playing biking. It's not coming through B1, B2, but I just clicked that and now it is coming through. So, so just like take a look at your voice meter and see if anything is like, where are you actually sending your audio to? So the way you have it set up is that B1, B2, this is your microphone. If you're sending anything to B1, B2, people on Discord are going to hear it. If you send something to A1, A2, or A3, you're going to hear it. So A1, A2, A3 should be your headphone, your speaker, and maybe a virtual audio cable if you have one. Um, so that's it. That's a pretty quick one. Another common um, complaint is that people have like crackling in their mic. So... If you have crackling in your microphone, uh, like maybe at the end of a sentence or the start, like there's just like little pops here and there. So in voice meter, when it's time to select your hardware, uh, to select your mic, you can just left click here. And then I would say click WDM blue Yeti. And if you have issues with that, come back here and select MME blue Yeti or whatever your microphone is. And that will 90% of the time fix whatever problem you're having. If it is persistent across the board, uh, one of the things you could do, which is kind of a last resort because this adds some delay towards your speaking. So you'll speak into your mic. It will take a little bit longer for your computer to process and then send out. So there is some delay. Like if you're playing a video game and you need like really quick comms, uh, not, not great, not great. So we will go to menu system setting options, buffering MME, buffering WDM, just up these, just click on it. I'm not going to do it right now because I believe it will mess with my recording. So not touching that, but that's one thing you could do. Okay. Now I think we will move on to EQing. Oh, I'm looking at myself right now. Why am I looking at myself? So with the EQ, um, there's a couple things that you need to be aware of. So I'm going to send, be sending my EQ to uh, B1, and that's how you'll be hearing me. So I'm going to left-click B1 to make it blue so that it's active, it's on. I'm going to right-click it to actually change it, and we're going to make this flat. So, okay. So this is a little bit tricky because to hear your EQ... Here, can I do it like that works? So to hear your EQ, 
um, you actually have to record yourself and then listen back to it. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, this isn't gonna be like a really thorough, like from A to Z, this is how I'm gonna EQ it. Again, like I really want you guys to know what to do why, and why to do it. Um, not, not to just like copy my settings and call it good because like that, when you do that, that is when the questions start coming, when the troubleshoot starts coming, like actually know what you're doing. So I'm going to explain this a little bit. I'm going to do it like one time and then like you're on your own to set up voice meter, um, in a way that works for this. So normally with all of these settings that you would mess with here. So like I'll mess with this a little bit and you're hearing the different effects in my voice it, to, to hear that live on the fly. You can just click a one. So now I'm sending when, when that's clicked, I'm sending my audio to my headphones. So like I can hear my voice and hear how it's changing. But because we're doing the EQ in at B1 and not at this stage, I'm not going to be hearing my voice live um, with that EQ. So you have to record it. So the way that I'm going to set it up is I will go to menu, tape recorder options, and then change the directory so i have a specific folder in my documents for voice meter recordings um and here are my settings so if you want to copy these settings by all means um actually i'm going to change that to wave file so there there's my new settings mm, 4800 okay if you want to hear everything if you want to hear your desktop audio your speakers your virtual cable you click a1 a2 a3 but you guys are just going to be listening to me through b1 so i can click b2 and turn that off so this is the only thing we're going to be eqing the only thing we're going to be hearing so pretty much you want to look at this eq you want to make some adjustments that you think that you predict will sound good record it listen to your recording and when you're ready to to record it to test it all you got to do is hit record here and then once you're done recording you can hit stop and then you can play it back um so it'll it'll keep in the queue your, your latest recording so that's like just a quick and easy way to listen listen to it back unfortunately off the top of my head i don't know how you could listen to this eq just live and on the spot there probably is a way to do it and I'm just maybe I'm being dumb right now um, and I can't think of it. Maybe you could try doing it like just send send your audio to a one and see if you actually are able to hear the difference in, in, in the EQ that you're making. So so we have a bar right here. So this is one of the first things you want, you're going to see anything that goes to the positives you're going to be adding to. Right. So like if I'm doing this, I'm adding some of the like the mids to my voice like low low end to mids to my voice um and if i'm doing this then i'm going to be cutting them out a lot and i'll probably sound a little bit more like i'm on a telephone so i'm going to raise that a little bit uh because i think my my mids sound good like i, I kind of want to lean into what my voice sounds like i don't i don't want to flatten my voice i want to add like more character to it so i think that will sound good I kind of want to cut out some of the highs, like how I had it before. I have like this sharp, sharp uh, spike. I don't remember exactly where it was, but this is just kind of to cut off some of like the sharp S's. I forget where that lies in my registry, but we'll just try there, see how that sounds. So when I do a test, I'll say some S's and P's um, for my plosives. And... I don't know maybe we'll try something like this we'll see how this sounds okay so now I'm going to record it so I'm going to try this this EQ out and see how it sounds um, and I'm going to be toggling it on and off so I can hear myself without and with so okay this is a recording with the EQ on I hope that I sound pretty decent right now I'm going to turn the EQ off and now you are no longer hearing my voice with the EQ on I'm going to turn it back on now Testing, testing, testing. Curious how those S's sound. I'm curious how my P's sound. Pop, pop, pop. How do my plosives register? If you really don't know what you're doing, um, if maybe you do a couple of EQs and uh, nothing really sounds good to you, 
one of the like one method that you can use that I did a lot when I was like really first starting out with like sound engineering and then um, honestly I did this a lot when I was running sound for bands I would make a really sharp spike I would kind of move it around like all over the place as much as I could I'd move I've moved this spike and then I would wait until I heard so like sometimes it's really hard to know when like this sounds very good right like sometimes that's kind of difficult to do um like oh it just sounds like it sounds like i don't necessarily know if this is good or bad but it's really easy to know when something sounds bad so one of the ways like methods that i use is that i would create this like really sharp spike i would move it around and listen to hearing like when does it sound terrible and if here it sounds terrible then maybe a good sign to make it sound better is to take that and do the opposite just kind of mirror it do the opposite of what it needs open it up a little bit and see see all the different ways that you can manipulate the sound of your voice so that's that's a, a pretty pretty solid method for finding a sound that you think um, works for your voice so you can do that you can also um, just go to Google and you can search for uh, just like a baseline EQ for your microphone so like how like hey how would someone with a blue yeti eq their microphone for a podcast so uh that might be a good thing to search hopefully this video was a little bit helpful to you guys i really appreciate it um if you have any questions like i said before come into the discord um say what's up come play valorant with me i think rank is maybe out today i haven't played yet but like come carry me i think i'm like a plat i want to say i'm a plat I only got to silver. Okay, I think we're good. I think I'm going to call it there. I think that's the video. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great day. Okay, that's it. We're out. It's done. I don't get weak in the knees. Honey spread like a fan. Perfect like some Gucci sand. Open the sky, get a hand. Torch some marked up like a van. How you not fucking with cash? God give you what you can handle.